Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told Brian. I was like, I, I was like, feel I feel like, like a good, 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 good ball. ball. Like, like cold, cold tasting beers, beers often, often just, just get cold rambly. rambly. Mm-hmm. But, but. That's okay, okay. I'm cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I don't know how. It's just kind of kind of. Magic marker and poster board or anything. <laughs> oh. Whatever, whatever just, happened, just happened for about, for about five, five seconds, seconds of the double, double went away. It was quite yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's bad right now or not, it's but Martin, um, maybe because Martin just muted and it went away. Thank you. Is it Martin then? Un- Mar- unmute Martin. Is it me? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put hey. apples on. Uh, I really wish my other computer had worked. This background is awesome with my radiator pipes above me. <laughs> Very industrial. <laughs> industrial. All right, you guys, uh, tell us if the audio is okay because uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's coming through very good on your end or not. But I'm I'm uh, hoping we're having decent audio because we're. Uh, we're definitely in the pre-run here. It was echoing back and forth, but I'm not hearing it now. So, wow, that sounds good. There to is me. an alien involved. Yeah, it does sound pretty good, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Getting some reverb. Okay, let's see if maybe it it doesn't clear up because I'm not hearing it now, mm-hmm. and I was hearing it before, so I don't know. And the cat, <laughs> the cat He's just opened the, the drawer. drawer on. One of our cabinets in the bar. Okay. <laughs> He's just reached in the door. He has thumbs now. <laughs> He's gonna get in the. Front. All right, all right, everybody. Thanks to the to the uh, live stream. Uh, thanks to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream. Hi. <laughs> we actually have Martin from the Homebrew Challenge. Say hi, Martin. Hello. <laughs> and we have the uh, infamous Chip Walton, and he is here. Uh, representing Northern Brewer. Chop a brew, chop a brew. <laughs> northern brew, north northern brew. That's right, that's right. So that's right. Chip Chip is here representing the northern brewer element. And so if you guys remember when we did the live stream of the nut brown ale, uh, northern brewer supplied us with the extract and all grain kits. And when they did, we said we would come back and do like a live tasting to see if we could find out what the differences were. Now. If you don't watch Martin's channel, I don't know what rock you've been under or whatever, but you know, um, he did, (laughs) he did a extract versus all grain recently and it came out wildly different. Uh, Um, not good. It, it was massively different. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what happened with that as far as, you know, there's clearly something with the recipe that, that was maybe off, but uh we i wanted to pull martin in because he had a little bit of a weird experience or not so good experience with doing an all grain versus extract so i want to kind of bring him in uh i've been wanting to do another collab with martin for a while so i wanted to bring him in to give his thoughts on the differences and then of course we had to have some representative from northern brewer and what what better representation than chip so chips chips an og uh, youtube uh you brewer <laughs> Uh, he was around in the early days of Northern Brewer when they had their channel and like a driving force behind that. And uh, so, cameo. yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, left there for a little while and then now you're back. When did you come back? When did you uh, go back to Northern Brewer, Chip? I started last summer. So like July 4th ish of 2020. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, there's Todd and uh, yeah, Todd from uh, Northern Brewers in the chat there. Woo, T Jack is what we call it. <laughs> Today he, he went and tried to line, say hi. He went and tried <laughs> to fix a basketball hoop, which oh, is like okay. a ten foot. It's a ten foot hoop, and he's like, you know, I don't know if you guys you've seen him in relation on, but he's a tall dude. Oh he was like, yeah. So I took, he took a five gallon bucket outside and tipped it upside down instead of a ladder. And he's so tall that that was just enough to get him up to the basketball hoop. Man. Wow. My question is, why do you wait until? you know, like November to try to fix a basketball hoop. Yeah. <laughs> That's I what I want to know. I think we had it in our mind. We'd do like a us. little, a little employee winter <laughs> league action or something. Okay. Like All right. I got you. I got you. <laughs> do you have to, like, you're trying to make a cameo here or what? What is Dirty your deal, dead. bud? Then the cat walks across the screen. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I need to throw you back All right. Now. So let's, uh, let's get oh. the tasting on the road here. 
Um, I've got these labeled as uh, Nut Brown Z and Nut Brown X. Um, I sent some cans to Martin. And I'm actually, I, I canned these up and I sent some to Northern Brewer as well. Chip's and got I was those. blindfolded. I have no idea which Yeah, right. she doesn't know which one. Now, she's had this beer and I've had this beer, but she yeah. doesn't know which one's which. So this is going to be kind of a blind one for her. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and pour. And uh, we'll get into the tasting and see what we think. So can we just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of these cans? I am so impressed with how <laughs> these cans have shipped and the beautiful label that and is so awesome it's look at those i went through a little bit of trial and error to get the uh the labels right i had to wind up going with weatherproof labels and uh ultimately the the cans are actually from uh october this is yeah. pre-labeled cans that they have i did a design of the label and they wrapped the cans and everything for me and uh so that was awesome i've actually if Lean over just a little bit this way. If you guys see a drill in the background, there's a brand new model of the October canner that is powered by a hand drill that I'm going to be doing a video on shortly. Um, nice. I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised on the price. It's going to pretty much, I think it's going to beat every every canner hands down as far as price goes, but you know, okay, total let's all keep in. These in order. Okay, the first one's on the left. Okay, the one's so on that the right. was that was Z. This is X. Okay, I have mine split between a, two glasses. Yeah. Uh, so your logo is black, and the drink is dark. <laughs> yeah. This says short circuited brewers. You probably can't tell. Yeah, it doesn't show up real well in there. Oh, sorry about <laughs> that. This one's oh, white. It's all right. Hey, uh, just give a shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, Ian Buchanan, Vincent uh, Palchanes, Chris Turner, Brian Grove, Darren Blackwood, Salvation Brewing. Uh, Earthbound again, uh, Patrick and Sandy. It looks like. So awesome. um, this was this was X, correct? This was the first one that I poured. This yes, was X, the first one. and this was Z. Now I'm looking okay, at them. In alphabetical order. They look. This. One of them looks a little bit darker than the other one. This one's one. lighter. This one's darker. Yeah. Z I don't know if you guys can see it X. on on uh, on your camera or not. I don't know. The muffin tops look about the same. Do they? Yeah, they look darker on the on the right hand side. <laughs> So X looks darker for me and Z looks yeah. lighter. What about now, that? For me, the darker beer is kind of a tell as to I expect normally extra beers to be darker. So right now, without tasting it, that's where I'm at. Okay. All right. So he's talking about Z. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, this is, this is Z. This I know. Is, this he's is talking Z. about Z. Z well, all right. So true. let's... Uh, X. My X appears to be a little darker. I feel like My it's a X little more darker. deep mahogany yeah. brown... Really? Yeah. Really. It also seems to be a titch clearer, potentially. Could cat hair have something to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the, uh, the Z for me seems to be... Oh, yeah. Honestly, oh, yeah, look. Actual Z light. My X yeah. is definitely And whatever this clearer. one is, X. Yeah, is it? Okay. So let's, let's have a taste and see what we think here. Um, I guess let's go X first. X first. Oh my Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Sorry, party foul. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. It's mm -hmm. a good, rich, deep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It settles very well. Like mm. there's it's just a good drinkable beer. There's like really nothing on the end. I get a little bit of sweetness, um, and then a little bit of malt backbone behind that. I mean, that's mm. what I'm I'm getting off of it. Um, he just had a wire. Well, what is his problem? Stop he's it. He's never like I this during the day. <laughs> he's just bound to determine to interrupt the live Cat stream. Hair makes a very good. All right, so let's let's try the uh, let's try the Y here. Texture in the beer. Cheers, everybody. The X Cheers. or the Z? The Z. Oh, sorry, Z. I'm sorry. Is there a Y that we don't yeah, know? What happened to what happened to Y? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the cat hair. <laughs> this is the it's Y. A different <laughs> element here. X and Z are the beers. <laughs> Hmm. They both have a similar, this kind of like molassesy, treacle, almost minty. Yeah, kind I of brushed my teeth though, like forty-five minutes ago. Mm. I feel I like this one's mean. not quite as like the malt flavor is not quite as deep. I think this yeah, is I, don't, I don't think so. Right. And this one settles more on your tongue. There's like nothing. It's just like when you drink a solid beer. I can. This is flavoring to me. Is that What's, right? What are your thoughts on it, Martin? Sorry. I think Z is a little sweeter than mm -hmm. X. Because I feel it. 
Um, After a drink? Just, yeah, actually quite a bit. I'm getting less of the sort of the nuttiness that I'm getting in the X, in the yeah. Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think so too. I, I think uh, I think that's... Uh, I think that's that's an accurate statement. So the reveal is. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Do we not guess first? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and guess. Z is extract. I'm gonna say I thought that X is extract because it's darker, but on tasting it, I'm also gonna go for Z as extract. Z is the extract. Yes. <laughs> da, 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 da. Again, we rock. Yeah, now, see, I haven't had I haven't had them in glasses holding up to the light, and I didn't realize they were well, that when much we of a first color made difference. This and took it off tap. I couldn't really tell, so I kind of like mixed them, and it tasted really great as a blend. Um, uh, but the extract is sweeter, and this is more um, balanced now than when we first did it. I don't know if I make sense, but it just like um, when I drink it, I don't really taste anything after it just tastes like a full grain beer. I think there's more complexity to the all grain version. I think, For sure, yeah. you know, I, I think the, the neither one of them tastes bad mm -hmm. by any no. means, no. but I think there's as, as want. the all grain one, you know, goes through your palate, you taste these different layers of flavor. Whereas the extract is a little bit more one note ish, if that makes sense. When you brew this, do you do the like partial volume and then top up, or do you do full volume to try to at least get a I, little I did a full leg volume up? boil on um, okay. so both cool. of these. Now the interesting thing was um, the original gravity on the extract was quite a bit lower than the gravity on the uh, Cheers, on the all grain, which was kind of interesting. I don't know if I put too much too much water didn't boil off enough or what, but um, what was the difference? Uh, I think it was 10, 1035 for the the uh, extract and ten forty one for the the all grain. Oh wow! Okay. So it was it was a fair about a fair amount different. Mm. But I'm not tasting a whole lot of difference, you know. From I mean, obviously they're lower alcohol, so I'm not tasting a whole lot of difference from that. But someone get that cat a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, looking at the yeah, malt bill, yeah. the specialty grains. It's you know Citra. this English chocolate. This Special bee biscuit, special roast. That teeny writing. That's a, a lot of impactful kind of flavors. Everything from raisiny to straight up chocolate and coffee. Mm. Yeah, the one thing that was kind of interesting, and, reason, and the other reason why I wanted to bring Martin into this was because the beer he did had Maris Otter in it. Wasn't it Maris Otter? Yes, was it? it was. Maris Otter. Was Maris Otter, yeah. So the, in the, I don't have the recipe up. I think you do there, Chip. Is, is, is the main malt in this Maris Otter? The all grain um, Stand by. I was on the extract page. Um, I'd be willing to bet it is. I'd be curious to know what the my parents drank beer. What, what the extract <laughs> yeah. was as well. Need to it's compare. Maris Otter. Yeah. So, so okay. the 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 extract version did not have Maris Otter liquid malt extract. It just ah, had regular right. regular uh, like plain the white gold. It's called gold. Is Maris right? Otter more raisiny? Is that what he's saying? Well, Maris Otter has a little bit, a little different characteristics to it. I mean, it's a little is more that malty. What makes it raisiny. Yeah, it's a little yeah. more rich, a little more nutty. Because now Plus, I really, smell, yeah, I've always smelled the nutty part of it. Plus, the gold raisiny. syrup, I no. believe, has some degree of caramel malt kind of already in it. That's why whenever okay. I brew extract from scratch, I always start with like pills. Okay. I start as light as possible, and then I try to build oh. everything else using the specialty grain. So I bet that. That gold may be giving us more of kind of a almost like oh, an so ambery like base that. than just like an English malt base. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, I mean they're it, both good. Neither of them really tasted super extracty. You know, one just clearly tastes a little more uh, layered, almost yes. more like a food. Not than mixed a beer. in like yeah, <laughs> on top of it. Can you see a, a or can you smell a difference in the aroma as well? To me, they're quite distinct. Mm -hmm. The aromas. Yeah, this one is like blended, and this one yeah, is... Yeah, the, the, the all-grain version has like a real strong toffee smell to it, kind of. Yeah, it does. I, maybe that's Marisada again, but it's yeah. lovely. It smells it's lovely, yeah. The other one, I, the extract version, I think I kind of smell the hops a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm not picking it up in the all-grain version. I feel like I smell sweetness in the extract mm -hmm. as well. I smell sweet. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. That, as that, as that definitely could be the case. Too. It's definitely getting oh, yeah. a little more apparent. Mm -hmm. But it's a little sweeter. 
Yeah. I've often wondered if like extract kits shouldn't or wouldn't have just a bit more hop like adjusted, but that would be kind of a logistical nightmare, I think, to like have yeah. two, you know, cousin recipe kits totally different and yeah, I mean they do make they do make Mara Carter extract, uh liquid extract. It is more expensive than you know that that light stuff. So I wonder sometimes, you know, like with your situation, Martin, the the, when they put the recipe together, they kind of did a couple other. They put a couple other things in there to kind of make up for it. Is at least that's what they said in the video. But yes, we tried to didn't make up for right. it. <laughs> kind of what tried to know when you use pure vanilla or yeah. Um, Extract, imitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We basically tried to make Maris Otter by using a regular extract and then adding in some specialty grains that were steeped for twenty minutes. Um, oh, but it just didn't quite match it the was, mark. Of yeah. Yeah. Blended, blended. I, I think I would relate, like, since you're talking about food chip, I think I would relate this to like powdered mashed potatoes and like homemade boiled in, <laughs> you know, heavy cream mashed potatoes over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even need to want them are bad. No, but I, I do like I do like the all grains complexity a little more than the extract. Um, they don't taste completely different to me. You guys, you guys agree with that? I mean, they, they do have like kind of the same Sweeter. vein. It just yeah. depends what your palate wants. Yeah, this is actually this is the difference. I, when I did my two, one tasted like a completely different beer style to the other. <laughs> one was a pale ale, and one was like some sort of amber. Right. They both taste like brown ales. Mm -hmm. Just one's a bit sweeter, and one's got yeah. a bit more complexity mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. And like I was pointing out, the specialty greens definitely show still in the extract. I think you're just missing that richness that that real Maris Otter would bring mm -hmm. to it. Right, right. I cannot read that right. Salvation Brewing loves some potatoes. Hi, Joseph Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Maris Otter. Maris Otter seems to have no substitute from Beer Coy Nation. I ordered Maris Otter from Northern Brewer with sent Bryce too. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> you oh, better man. call him about that. You gotta hit up Todd Jackson. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, Todd. How do you know that? Did you order a full bag so you saw, or was it just clear that it was not? I don't know. Brewmaster at northernbrewer.com <laughs> is the CS email. Or uh, I'll give you Todd Jackson's cell phone number. There, oh, hey, look out. <laughs> no, give, him all, give him his OnlyFans page. <laughs> <laughs> Todd says, what? That was a full bag, he says. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, sound like sound like sound like somebody's got some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, <man. Brewmaster. laughs> so Martin, do you uh do you do you fancy uh taking a couple questions? I, I, is this the first live stream you've ever been on? This is the first live stream I've been on. Fantastic. And it's yeah. not echoing, right? Nobody right. says it's echoing. Yeah, no, that audio is good now. I guess it must Weird. have been a ghost in the machine that once we got rolling, it was it's an uh, alien. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think it was my AirPods seem to have. Oh, you think so? Okay, maybe it was. I, I don't maybe, know. Maybe it was me the whole time. No, it's this nice to be on a second audio effect. It's it's, uh, it's nice to be on a, uh, a live stream where we're not talking about quarterly results and mainframe processing because like that's the only time I do that, which is day job stuff. So. <laughs> Martin, so it's that. I'd like to second that. That's good. We're not talking about that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I have very little to add. <laughs> So what what is your what's your favorite style of beer, Martin? I know you've kind of talked about it on your channel, but uh, talk about it I know. here. Brian said you have to be under a rock. I haven't watched a ton of videos, so I I, I don't know. My uh, yeah, my favorite style is I like the Belgian styles primarily, and if I just had to pick one, it's Belgian triple. I just yeah, that's like the beer I've made the most of, and I really beer. enjoy that style. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a difficult one to get right, and I've had uh, bottle bombs from it where I bottled it up and then it exploded, like oh. the entire closet filled with glass. Oh. Uh, so I had some bad ones, but some good ones as well. And I think I'm supposed to really age them to get the most out of them, but it's very mm. rare that a triple will last. <laughs> <laughs> they don't last that long. <laughs> I, it's so funny you say that because I, I brewed a triple like probably seven or eight years ago. Um, I not a big. I'm not a big fan of the style, but I brewed one up. I like them. And um, I, I remember it was hilarious because uh, we had a friend of mine that I used to work out with all the time. He came over, and I had one of those. <laughs> I had one of those little. I brewed like I think it was like a one or two gallon batch, and I had one of those little mini kegs. 
and we sat at the kitchen table. It was a good conversation. And we had <laughs> beer after beer after beer, and I got a picture of the of, of him and her at the other end of the table from me, and they're just like. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I, they're a young couple, and they just had a baby. Yeah, it was no, just, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Like an aunt. for sure, for sure. So yeah, I, th I think I'd like to do some more of these. Maybe you know, I mean, I think it'd be so I think it'd be a lot of fun. Funny. Um, Martin, you said you're gonna do you're gonna start doing a little more verses on your channel too, right? Like doing some different, like two different beers, like what you've been doing, but. You, you actually, you just got a, I saw you had, I saw your video today, by the way, a good overview and good uh, instructions on how to get the most out of that system. Uh, yeah. The verses are quite fun. So I tried a simple recipe versus a complex recipe uh, last week. And just to see like a, a, basically a smash beer versus something with like 10 specialty malts in it, just like ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, just to see, see the difference and you know how much difference would that make? Uh, unsurprisingly, I guess it makes a, tremendous difference um and we ended up preferring the smash beer which is kind of that crazy is funny well you know and, and, and I, I have to be completely it's so honest funny with you you wouldn't think that yeah have to because be completely, like <laughs> i have to be completely honest with you on the on the the like throw in the kitchen sink at the one recipe like go there was in your a lot refrigerator of, and pull a bunch of stuff out yeah i thought there was a lot of malts in there that probably just didn't belong i know you guys were trying to just kind of go to the extreme but like Special B and some other ones that I'm like, well, eh, I don't know if they're because really, it was like a pale ale, right? I mean, that was kind of like what the right what the target right. was. It became um, a pale pale amber ale. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw the video and I was like, eh, I don't know if I'd put all that stuff in there, but I, I knew what you were going for. You were going for extreme, so it was like extreme. You know, okay, but I'm telling you, that smash beer was so yeah, good. that's funny, so good. Just they are, they are really good for sure. <laughs> yeah. They are really good. Yeah, no doubt about that. Um, and yes, I'm planning on revisiting the this extract versus all grain. Um, but I'm going to when I put my video out, there was like a lot of people in the comments telling me everything that I did wrong, and it was a long <laughs> list. So I'm trying to address everything and do it again. So see brave. If they're, to put it see if they're any better. So I should yeah, I should yeah. send you a couple of loads if I can get some awesome yeah. canning solution like this. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, that's that's uh, that's awesome. So, anybody anybody got any questions for uh, for Chip or Martin? Now is the time. We got them both on here at the same time. What oh, do you got? Are cans are cans Brian hard Grove. to source right now? Um, I you know I I got these from from uh, October a little while back, mm -hmm. and um. They didn't say anything about that, about it, about having any issues with cans or anything like that. As a matter of fact, when they sent me the other machine, they were like, you know, do you need more cans or whatever? I, I haven't used up what I've got so far. So um, they sent me 16 and 12 ounce cans whenever Looks they like sent me a can. like it should be part of a haunted house. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I was wondering that myself because I was talking to a guy that, that um, I don't know if you saw, I'm trying to think of the name of the, the cans, but there's a company out there that makes some cans that have like a twist lid. Almost yeah. like the the Bud Light mm -hmm. uh, canners or Bud Light cans that have the the metal yeah. top on them. Yeah, it's a, it's. I haven't used this yet, but it's pretty. I actually kind of like this a little bit more than the other one because it's got a door that comes down that kind of is a mud flap to keep you from <laughs> all splashed and everything. Oh, you're talking about the other one. Yeah, oh, the other one I'm doesn't sorry. have any kind of a guard okay. on it or anything yeah. like that. That's but like yeah, this thing it's just uh, it's a it's powered by real. <laughs> It's just reminded me of a haunted house. That's crazy. <laughs> you can put it back over there if you want. So you <laughs> yeah. Have to, okay. Um, oh, I can do this. Muscles. <laughs> uh, Salvation Brewing says, uh, you still making cool jams? Music, not jelly, ugly cousin. <laughs> not jelly's ugly cousin. <laughs> yeah, I play, I've played more guitar since our son was born than I have in years before that because he really loves it in the morning Aww, time. So I've actually been, that's so I've been great. playing and congratulations thinking about recording more of that to throw in the background. I've been leaning on some music from a friend down in San Antonio, Justin Martin, for years and years. And I was like, let's get back to some acoustic noodling by Chap Wilton. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Has he listened to the Game of Thrones acoustic? Um I don't know if he said I think uh, I don't know if he's heard that one or not. There's a there's a uh musical rendition of uh, the game of thrones theme song that had like uh nuno betancourt and uh, the, Who does the oh yeah 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 the rage against the machine uh yeah yeah, yeah. 
And uh, oh my God, who's the show? Toby Keith was in it too, I think. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who's the guy in the commercials with Manning? Yeah, yeah, Toby Keith. Okay. Like Scott Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Anthrax. Yeah. Uh, got a question for you, Martin. The 77 Trans M guy says, uh, Martin, any holiday content coming? Yeah, I have done a couple of sour beers, oh. uh, which I made last year. And they have been in my closet over there for a year to condition. So Christmas <laughs> was when I was going to pull those out. Um, so there's that. I've also been challenged by... Um, Another YouTube channel, the the Brew Show, uh, uh, sent me a mystery set of ingredients and told me to go make a beer from it. So that is uh, that's going to be coming out around Christmas as well. It's a uh, yeah holiday themed beer. Are, are they sending you the ingredients or giving you a list or is it no? Be as I, a tack I, and you just have to do it right there. I the got second? a I got a package and in okay. the package was you one get to specialty. Look it over. Yeah, so there's one specialty malt. Uh, one bag of hops and then one non beer kind of ingredient, which, uh, well, I Not don't like even want to spoil it, but, uh, I mean, you know, it's, yeah, something you wouldn't normally put in a beer and then I've got to try to figure out. That was our why element here. It was cat hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have to why. <laughs> my, uh, my homebrew club that I, that I belong to, uh, that's they do awesome. a, they do a, a thing called iron kettle every year. Um, and that's where they have like a base beer recipe. And then somebody brings like some weird ingredients. Like one time it was like mushrooms. And then another year it was like glazed donuts. And oh, I mean, it was I just, you know, the they just do, do really weird stuff all the time with it, which is, which is kind of cool. It's really ballsy though to take that on. <laughs> you know what? I had a fan sent, um, a beer that I'd never had brewed with, uh, candy cap mushrooms. Okay. And it turns out they literally taste like maple syrup. Like they don't taste really? mushroomy at all. Mm -hmm. They taste like huh. if you put maple syrup in a beer and it didn't ferment away to where you couldn't taste it. Oh, wow. I was where like, oh, this is how. are they indigenous to? Are they around? Where are they? He is a forager in California, I think Northern California. So maybe, oh. hmm. I don't know if that's where they're I've never heard most that. found. Wow. Yeah, that was a really cool like eye opener. I thought it was going to taste like earthy and musty yes. and like black tea. And I tasted it. And it was a porter, like a breakfast porter. And it literally tasted like maple syrup and coffee in a beer. Wow. It was delicious. Very cool. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, Candy cat. Time for you to do a little <laughs> shout out there, Martin. What is uh, what is your channel, Martin? Ha, the Homebrew Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, if you just look up the homebrew challenge on uh, YouTube, you'll definitely uh, Martin. Martin kind of started this channel off uh, a little bit differently. I think it was like homebrew how to in the beginning, and, and then we have to say thank you for Martin. Had I think a little bit of interrupted a... his dinner, and thank you to his wife. <laughs> yeah, glad she's doing <laughs> better. Significant mm. other. Yes. Um, yes, homebrew how to or uh, how not to was the big joke. <laughs> like we had literally just like you know got our brewer's best kit to like hey let's make videos on the internet. And uh, ended up learning learning a lot there through uh, through comments and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been canceled right away. Yeah, <laughs> they can be brutal sometimes. And then I think probably one of the one of the uh, the breakout videos you had on that on that channel was um, the three hundred versus the three thousand dollar brewing system. That that's is right. like, what like a half a million views or something like that at this point. Yeah, that's how it's been the most popular wow. video. Um, yeah, yeah. So. And then he had this wild idea that he would start from, was it A1? Is that the first beer style in the BJCP guidelines? One, one A, yes. One A, one go a. from one A it all the way to the very end and brew every single style of beer. Uh, and he did one video a week one for 99 week. weeks. Yes, two yeah. years. Uh, it seemed wow. like a good idea, and then it seemed like a not good idea, but then it was like too late to not keep going. <laughs> I can't go back. So. I'm on 77. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I was wondering, because so many of those up front are loggers, did you like wait to like, basically stockpile a bunch of videos about loggers and then launch a show, or were you just like able to turn things kind of quicker than might be expected? 
Chip, there was there was no planning like that. No. Um, <laughs> we did the lagers, and yeah, I hadn't realised like it's like almost all lagers at the start, and then I got to Eisbach, and it's like, oh, that's supposed to be aged for two to three years. Like, oh crap, should have done that earlier. Um, <laughs> then we got to the sour category, and it's like, oh, those need those need to be aged a year. Should have started those at the beginning. So no, we, I just get to each one and look it up, and it's like, oh, better get on it. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. It's like no, it was uh, it was it was, uh, was very interesting. And then you know, and, and along with um, along with the brew day that he would show, then he did you know a lot of uh, little tips and and uh, tricks and some product reviews and stuff in between there. Um, so yeah, if you get a chance, I mean, you know, it's uh, you could probably binge there for a couple of hours if you wanted to watch a bunch of videos about different beer styles being brewed and stuff. So it was, and then he follows everything up with the with a tasting of the beer. Um, now, who is it that does most of the tasting with you? You know, I thought in the beginning for a long time it was your wife, but it turned out it wasn't. So when the 99th beer came out, I was like, I need to address this. Who is Lauren? His wife doesn't like beer. <laughs> because <laughs> trending on Google, if you typed in Homebrew Challenge, the next thing that came up was Homebrew Challenge Wife. And <laughs> so and uh, she's not my wife she's my stepdaughter so this is all a very awkward oh. kind of <laughs> situation i remember so i remember an episode where you had to like uh lay the law down and explain this this story. is not my wife nor <laughs> my mistress <laughs> uh, yeah so i was wondering for a long time and then you kind of came out and then uh and said that towards the end so that was uh that was a lot of fun that that little reveal and then you had some other People that uh, showed up along the way as well. Um, some of your some of your British friends from uh, well, around. Yeah, the the idea was that I was just going to bring a whole bunch of like local brewers and just homebrew buddies and whatnot on, and then you know most of us were shot through COVID, so we ended yeah. up bringing Lauren in because she lived in the house. Um, well, at least she had something to do. So <laughs> that's right, <laughs> plenty of time. I think, and I think Chip could probably tell you too. I mean, I know that um, the amount of new brewers entering the space increased quite a bit with COVID, um, you know, because yeah. people were at home, didn't want to go to the bar. It's a scientific experiment. I mean, yeah, it's fun. Exactly. Just have some good fun. Exactly. Uh, Robert says that uh, his favorite Martin tip was on I the tilt packaging. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, uh, go ahead and tell the story, Martin. He's so, putting yeah. on the spot now. So tilt, it's a wireless hydrometer. You just drop it yeah, into your fermenter and then it uses Bluetooth to go to your phone and tell you what the gravity of the beer is. Sure. I'll take the bring one. I got one of these and I just could not get this damn thing to work. It wouldn't balance right in the water. And then that's when I realized it was still in the sure, right. <laughs> And so I put a video out about that. And then the tilt guys ended up putting a label onto this to say remove from packaging because basically, I think because of me. So I feel... Like, I am to thank for the fact that we now have more clear packaging due to my stupidity in trying to use this thing. So. Oh, so you're the guy that had that made little Debbie put do not, you know, do, do not light on fire on their snack cakes. That's right. Coffee is hot. Yeah. yeah that's hey, you know what? It just, you know, I, I kind of, I love those kind of things actually, because it's just, you know, even though we do YouTube and all this kind of stuff and make videos about brewing and all that stuff, we're, we're fallible just like everybody else. You know I mean? It's, it, it happens. You know I mean? It's one of those things where you just, you can't help it. Sometimes you just have, you know, a, an oops or a miss. I mean, I, I've had several different live streams where I've dumped a gallon of wort on the floor. You know, I mean, I just had boil overs that were just like completely boiled over everywhere. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. And you were upset, but mm. then after you did it three times, you're like, oh, shit, happened again. So <laughs> yeah, you just, like, you know, you're live and you got to move on. You spend money, on, so. you spend time. It's just like, it's just one of those things. Hey, CH, homebrew for life in the house. Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah, silica packets do not eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. And Tide, Tide packets. Oh, too funny. Don't eat oh, Tide God. pods. Don't, don't eat them. Too honey. funny. Uh, what's uh, what? What other questions anybody got? Anybody got any other questions for uh, Mister Mister Chip or Mister Martin? Someone asked both of us, I think, like what kind of holiday content might be. Oh, okay. Coming up, Martin. Yeah. What you what you got for the rest of the year? He was talking about the sours that he did. Right. Um, Thank you. Thanks, Homebrew for Life. Ten dollar oh, donation. Oh snap! Uh, uh, Martin said he had some sour beers coming up that you're going to do like a tasting uh like one year later or something like that on yeah 
That's, around that's, Christmas? Right. That's, that's, that's I made them on Christmas, Christmas Day, so I'm going to taste them on Christmas Day. See how that's so them. funny because I would never think sour. I would think, you know, nutmeg or cinnamon or something, you know, Christmas spice, but that's very, very cool. Got to get your pucker on with the turkey. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got all that pumpkin pie. It's so sweet. But you know, there is a little bit of science behind that because of the because of the uh, the bacteria in the sour beer. It actually probably will help with digestion of whatever God, that, Bernie, that meal is. No, I'm being serious. Oh. <laughs> Am I wrong, John? Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm a probiotic person, but let me tell you what. Right yeah. now, I'm talking about beer. Yeah, that's true. absolutely. That's true. I'm just uh, beer coordination asking. I'm just trying to edit through a bunch of brew day episodes from the last like six months that I just have well, not had time to what's dig Chip into. doing then for Christmas? Because we got his sours, Martin Sours. Yeah, what are you doing, Chip? I'm still just trying to work through like the last year of footage. So like a bunch of like brewing in the garage videos with I made a new mini masher that I love out of a five gallon igloo cooler to kind of do three wow. gallon three gallon all grain batches. You are uh, a MacGyver. It's worked out pretty well. I like oh. it. It's it's the antithesis of short circuited brewers. It's it's long winded brewers. Or oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to get off in the weeds sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's when that's when you come in with the judicious editing, you know. <laughs> chop, chop, cut, cut. chop, and yeah. Brew. See, oh. chop, 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 right? <laughs> chop for chop. Opposite. Just let it go. <laughs> I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, let's just let it roll Don Osborne style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Martin answered partly on the, uh, so the a YouTube user uh, says, uh, thanks so much for putting it together. And what's your favorite beer style? Martin already talked about his was uh, was a Belgian fun. triple. triple. Um, so Chip, what's your favorite style? Mm, I think it might, over, it might be like red, a like nice imperial red or a black. And amber. Gray. Oh. No, like bigger than Imperial, like kind of like Nosferatu, um, you know, like eight and nine percent big old oh, reds. Infectious. I love that. Sorry, is it a bad infection? <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. That's not a bad oh, infection. Now, now, uh, Homebrew for Life is trying to pedal his his uh, his stream. Now he he wants you to come on his uh, on his live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the, the, the invite applies to Kelly too. Okay, what? You, I can't read that font. Here. It's like six. Here. There you go. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank so you're you. going to go Everybody on. can think she's Martin's wife. Yeah. yeah. No. Martin's we wife is eating dinner. Oh, it's Sunday mornings at 5 a.m. Yeah. What is, that? what is that? Beer church? No, I'm Brian's wife, and I applaud Martin's wife because it's a hard thing to put up with. I get you, sister. Yeah. So I guess. I don't know her. But anyway. you could do you could do a segment on homebrew for life, a uh, brewer's wife, right? Or yeah. YouTuber's wife. I would talk about something completely different. Oh, how about I did, and I'd be like, guess what? We're going to talk about this for an hour. Mm. Homebrew for wife. <laughs> there you go. Homebrew for wife. I'll start <laughs> playing a violin. He, he is he is single, so that might be an option <laughs> for him. <Who>? Ch. Oh. <laughs> for, change oh. it to homebrew for oh, wife. Oh yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Oh. I might play the violin. What do you guys think about that when we're brewing? Yeah, go ahead. That'd be a funny game oh, show. Home thing. brew yeah. for wife. And you like, <laughs> <laughs> a dating show that you win by making like stellar home brew. There you go. There you go. Somebody needs to make that as an offshoot of their channel. Well, they have bachelorette. Why not beer roulette or something yeah. like that? Something. Yeah. Brew brew roulette. I don't know what they... Yeah. Fiance ninety days that brews beer. I got it. Bride Ale Roulette. Oh, my God. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be so fantastic. Who brewed the best beer? <laughs> That's what I'm going to marry. It's my I'm marrying for 90 him. days. <laughs> what are you doing, uh, Brian, for food for either Thanksgiving or Christmas? Uh, for Thanksgiving, uh, Kelly is... Uh, Christmas, he said. Oh, for oh, Christmas. Either or. Yeah, either yeah, or. Oh, or. Kelly's, Kelly's cooking a turkey. Um, Baking. Well, cooking, whatever. I could Baking. put on the stove, but I don't think it'd be good. Oh, stop. Microwaves? Yeah, she's microwaving a turkey. <laughs> 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 she One, put it in there. Two, Sparks five. were shooting out of its ass because of the metal ring holding Brian the legs together. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're having family hmm. over. It's going to be good. I can't wait. Um, I love Thanksgiving, so we're hosting. And then Christmas is usually at another family member's house, and it's just fun. 
We watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation after we're done eating on Thanksgiving. It's a ritual. Yeah, got right. to. <laughs> So question, you, Martin. Uh, Robert Schumann says, Martin, is it dangerous to your health to have a Belgian triple in a keg? <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's perfectly safe in the keg, but when you put it in the glass. <laughs> you can put the keg by your bed and just sleep to the fans. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Aromatherapy. Love it. Well, guys, I, I appreciate you. I don't, I don't want to take up too much of your evening. I know, you know, we've all got families. Chip's got a new little one in, uh, in the house, so I don't want to take up too much time. But I uh, wanted to say appreciate you guys coming on and doing this. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and I have uh, to tell Chip, shout out. I really um, applaud him for doing that challenge. What was it, last year? No, it was like three years ago. This year, it? two years? No, 2020. What, the chip, the one chip? 30 days without beer oh, or anything. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, January 2020. My man, seventh was... day, I'd be like, I need a beer. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I didn't make it. I I tried to do so, uh, sober September, and I made it to like, I made it beyond Labor Day, but it wasn't much past that. It's good. I was like, I, oh, I proved myself. I went through Labor I Day weekend. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> good job, man. Yeah, it's awesome. See, so yeah, I'd like to maybe maybe do, do a couple more of these again. Um, you know, get you guys involved. I thought it was fun. This yeah. was fantastic. Keep them yeah. coming, Brian. Okay. <laughs> I love it. That you have I, I, that. See, I, look, he has that. We have this. Yeah, I, I sent. Uh, I sent Yay. Martin. I sent Martin uh, another beer, so he's going to be. Uh, hope, hopefully, that beer is is uh, didn't get oxidized or anything. I'm I'm hoping yep. I packaged it properly, but uh, I sent him me my um, uh, total eclipse of the Citra IPA, uh, New England IPA. Uh, I think Todd. It was supposed to be sipping Thank on you, that. Todd I haven't uh, haven't haven't uh, heard from him on that uh plumber 440 i actually have a pellet grill um so i'm, I'm i uh, use okay, it all the time yeah. as a matter of fact um but just so i want to say thanks to everybody that uh hung out with us and watched the live stream and everything uh, i certainly appreciate everybody coming on and uh we're gonna wrap it up and uh we'll you see like your... our fish tank it's <laughs> real I legit thought it was at first. And I was like, no, that's where it's Ro Roku, the eel scares Roku the crap out of me. <laughs> that All right. Crap, well, I appreciate it, everybody. Everybody uh, have a good night, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. Cheers.